Welcome to Newcastle Caravan Repairs. This is Scott's series on caravan doors uh, and the different locks and uh, issues that we come across with. This one is a Hume door. Uh, Hume caravan parts are largely an OEM uh, wholesaler, so they deal directly with the manufacturers. Uh, the Hume door, you can tell by this uh, silver handle that you squeeze or pull out towards yourself. It has a tri-lock system and uh, the separation between the two the two doors. In that sense, uh, it operates quite similarly to the traditional uh, Aussie Traveller door. The major difference being that all of the components in the Hume door, the mortise, all the lock bodies are all made out of plastic and therein lies the issue. The doors and parts are available from Hume, who are a Melbourne based uh, caravan parts and materials company. Uh, also the, the lock is marked with uh, Doric, who are a, a domestic door and lock manufacturer. This door is the most common type of door that you'll see in a caravan, mostly because uh, they come in a, J a Jayco and make up half of the market. So this is a Kamek door. Uh, they come in various sizes and orientations, uh, noticeable by the, the uh, Kamek door handle, which you lift up like this when the door is unlocked. The, the handle pops out and comes out like that. These two have a separation system and a tri-lock operation. These are probably the simplest of the door types. This handle uh, is, however, notorious for breaking off. Um, but quite straightforward to repair. Both halves of the door lock mechanism need to come out. This style uh, doesn't have a mortise piece that goes into the door frame, unlike the Hume or the Aussie Traveller. This one here is a new style Aussie Traveller door. Uh, again, many different sizes and types. This type uh, to engage the, the tri-lock, uh, you turn the handle and then you can lock it. Release the handle, leave it in the neutral position and you can lock it. Uh, to open it, unlock it and then do it this way. Again, uh, Aussie Traveller separation of the doors. Uh, and as you can see, metal uh, mortise parts in these ones. The new style one have a, a quite a significant uh, locking latch system for their tri-lock locks. This is a Dometic Seats door. Parts for these doors are available through the Dometic company. Uh, uh, the separation that these doors have only come about by these latches here that hold it in. It doesn't have a, a full door separation like the other types do. Uh, there's not a lot of problems with these, I have this uh, type of handle on them. There are other types of doors that do have this style of seats handle. Uh, as I say, parts are available through uh, Dometic. Pretty much the only trouble that we tend to have is with these magnetic latches that hold them apart. This is a traditional Aussie Traveller door with the all metal pieces to lock. Turn it this way, lock it to activate the tri-lock. Again, you can see uh, metal mortise pieces here. Uh, what, what I would say about these doors is uh, when you lock it, turn it away, let the handle go. Don't hold the handle out like that and turn the key because ultimately that will break something inside the mortise and the door will stay locked and you won't get out. Then get a caravan repairer to fix it. Don't get a locksmith because you'll end up carrying the door under one arm and a plastic bag full of parts to the caravan repairer. This is a Malenko door. These were distributed by uh, Dometic. Um, I don't believe that Dometic are distributing anymore, but parts are available through 
uh, bigger supplies like Coast RV. So it's like a overgrown Kamek door handle. Again, metal parts, so quite reliable. I haven't come across many 